Monday is World Metrology Day, which honors the study of measurement. While it may not seem possible, this year's Metrology Day is going to be even nerdier than usual. That's because it'll mark the official redefinition of a fundamental unit of science, the kilogram. So last November, the world's metrology community gathered in Versailles, naturally, to vote on it. So how are you feeling? Excited, bit nervous, because we're redefining the kilogram, which is just insane. <laughs> is that a big deal? Yeah, a huge deal. It affects literally everything in our lives. For the past 143 years, the kilogram has been defined by an object called the international prototype that's stored in France. It's the thing against which every scale is ultimately calibrated, affecting everything from the price of fruit to your blood test results. A yes vote means changing the kilogram's definition to one based on a fundamental constant of nature, called Planck's constant, and putting an end to the use of physical objects to define the international system of units. Comment vous expliquez l'importance de, de cet événement? Ben, c est, c est, là, c'est compliqué. <laughs> c'est compliqué parce que justement, c'est une, une véritable révolution. You know, in metrology, if we do our work right, then nobody will notice. But if we screw up, everybody will notice. Stefan Schlominger was part of the American team that helped make the change happen. So here's my Planck number. I carry it around with me now for the rest of my life. The thing below it says, à tous les temps, à tous les peuples. Why does it say that? So this is this model of this metric system for all times, for all people. Every person can access it and can use it. Tell me about the history of the kilogram. So this all started out shortly before the French Revolution. At that time, there were different systems of measurements in different kingdoms and dukedoms and what have you. And it was very difficult for commerce because you would travel and, you know, the measurements would be different, so you have to adjust your prices. So people wanted to have one system that is the same everywhere. So they decided to use the Earth as a template, and they used that circle from the pole to the equator, divided it in 10 million pieces and called this a meter. To the kilogram now, they took the meter, divided it in 10 parts, and this is called a decimeter. And now you make a decimeter cubed and fill it with water, and this corresponds to a liter. And a liter of water was a kilogram. But it was a lot of work. And then I made an artifact out of platinum iridium. And this is what was called the international prototype of the kilogram. So every mass measurement in the world traces back to this kilogram here. We asked to see the prototype, but that's not exactly allowed. So all we got was this replica. The actual kilogram stays locked away, and there's definitely no touching. So the kilogram itself is always per definition a kilogram. So if you leave a fingerprint there, it is per definition still a kilogram, but the mass of the whole world would have changed. That's why scientists proposed a change in the definition. But it's not the only reason. The international prototype isn't exactly accessible. So the kilogram right now is in some vault, and the vault is in a room, and in order to get to the room, you need three keys. So there's three keys that is distributed to three different people. They all need to get together, open the door, they need the combination for the vault, then you open the vault, and in the vault you will see this international product of the kilogram. It sounds like you think that this is a much better system. From a philosophic standpoint, it's a much better system because it's artifact-free. If you want to talk to an alien civilization, and what are you going to talk about with these people? You talk about physics because there's no other topic worthwhile talking about. There's nothing there's else nothing you would else. want to talk to aliens about. <laughs> and, and what would the aliens say? How do you determine mass? If we say, our kilogram is such that Planck's constant has this value, we are on speaking terms immediately. The people who have been working on the kibble balance, I want you to stand up. On November 16th, after a series of speeches, the vote began. Canada. Même chose en français. Oui. Oui. Come here. China. Yes. Denmark. Denmark. Yes. 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 I heard yes. The vote was unanimous, so thank you so much. Um. 
And just like that, the hunk of metal that's governed our reality for more than 100 years would be replaced. The moment the vote went through and, you know, they said it was unanimous, what was going through your mind? I, I was just overcome by emotion, you know, I just couldn't believe it. The whole world is basically here and voted yes, and mm -hmm. excitedly yes. You yeah. know, I, I think it was really touching, it was really, really nice. The last artifact is gone now, but, you know, I think we replaced it with something better. So, on Monday, the world gets a brand new kilogram. As for the prototype, it'll stay in the vault for now. It's still going to take three keys and a code to get to it. <laughs> 